Hello and welcome to another video. I'm going to get straight into it because as the title says, I'm going to be reviewing the Helm <laughs> the Helm Compact 3. I have used one of these Wild Country, but I think mine was the Helm 2 before it was the Compact and it was one of my favourite tents. I took it out on many, many adventures. I still do have it. I put it through the ringer and a couple of bits went wrong with it. So it's just, it's on the to-do list to get it fixed. Fern was looking for a tent to put in the back of her car and use with the puppies on campsites and things like that. So I thought, let's try the old compact Helm. Let's get back into the Helm series and see the difference between the Helm compact and the Helm I used to have and just see how it stands up and have a look inside it. So quite a nostalgic one for me and I'm looking forward to it. So let's get this set up. Oh, we've got to throw it there. So there's the poles and the pegs. That's quite a, that's quite a short stack for the poles actually. So if there's two of you carrying it, that's no problem to separate and stick that down the side of your pack. They're not too long. And if I remember correctly, which I do, one of the most user friendly and most simple tents to pitch and put down that I've ever used. It was just a case of, and this looks very similar, if not exactly the same as the Helm 2. And it's just two pulls, should be color coordinated. Yep. Where's that? There's the fixer pull. You get a little bit of tube in there to take with you in case any of your pulls break while you're out camping. You snap these together and it's just a blue and a red. And then there should be a sleeve on each side. Here it is. With a color coded tab to match the poles. And I'll do blue first because I've always done blue first. Will it be, is it right? I don't know, but I'm going with it. I'm going with blue first. It feels right. The blue is more of a straighter pole. This one has got like a, a straight bit then two angles on each side cut angle again red bit to red bit through the sleeve it's all color coordinated a little tab with some couple of metal eyelets in it unbelievable jeff and then once that's done you clip on these clips onto the red see wherever you've got your best views and then move it around so that your doors marry up to the best views and in which case, I want them to be facing you, you've got your pegs. The inner is attached to the fly, so it all pitches in a wanna. In case it's raining, makes it easier to set up in rain without getting wet. And then you've got the guy out points on all of the poles as well. But there'd be no need for me to do that. It has air vents here with a metal rim in to keep it open. That goes up to some mesh on the inside. Clips to hold it together. Obviously you've got your guy lines. So you've got an air vent on either side. Right, let's have a look inside then. So you've got two zips, one at the bottom, one at the top. So you can pull the one down at the top if you're inside just to give you some added ventilation. And this material here covers the zip so you could have it open and it's not gonna piss rain in. Let's have a look, man. So that's elasticated. These feel quite good. Very spacious. So that's a 55 litre bag. It's mirrored on the other side. So plenty of room to get your kit in. And once the door's shut, you've got all that space again. So there we go. Zip feels nice. Look at that. You coming? Are you coming in? I'll go first. Oh, that is spacious, man. That is a palace. Come in. Oh. It's warm. Come in, it is warm. Like, I can stand you up there, man. It's still unbelievable, really, Jeff. There is bucket loads of space. Considering the weight of this tent, it's not that much more than a two manner. And that space, I, I mean, I would take this on my own just for, for them times where you're just pitching up and you're going to be in your tent for a couple of days. This is perfect. Yeah, it's symmetrical on both sides, so plenty of room. For your bags it's got an attachment loop up the top for your lanterns it's got two large mesh pockets at opposite ends of the tent and at the side so plenty of storage space there is ample room in here i 
acres of space, man. When you zip open the inner, you can just, instead of tying it back, you just chuck it in the pocket at the side. Perfect. Who is it for? Well, it's for wild campers. If you've got two of you, when I was a solo camper, I would use a two man tent and that would give me all the room that I needed. But now I'm going camping with my partner along and we've got a dog. A two man tent is just a bit of a squeeze. So this is perfect for genuine two man hiking. You could divvy it up. One of you can carry the poles, the pegs, the other one can carry the, uh, the tent itself. Or even just on your own. If you're a unit and you like your space and you're just going for one or two days, perfect. They also do in the Helm compact range, they do a compact one and a compact two. This is the compact three. So whatever size you want, there you go. And one of the main things is how easy it is to set up and how easy it is to put back down again. There's a lot to be said for that after you've been camping all night and you might be just, might be raining outside or whatever and you just wanna just chuck all your stuff in and you just wanna get it packed up and be on your way. And this is the perfect tent for that. I'm buzzing to have another helm back in the family. Fern just got this for her car camping. She's off away with friends soon. So she got this for a sort of car camping tent. And I thought, oh, before you go, I won't mind doing a quick review of it and having a look just to jog me memory of the old helm. And it, it's, not, it's, it's lost none of its charm. I absolutely love this tent. So if you fancy one of these, or if you want a helm one or two, which I fully recommend, then you can take advantage of my discount code that'll get you, I think it's 20% off any of these tents from Terra Nova. Just use this code at checkout. I'll leave a link below for you if you, if you want, you know, but I mean, if you were shopping for a tent and you liked the helms, which I do fully recommend, I'll interject this video with some of the old footage of my helm out in action. I fully love it. Uh, and if you were gonna get yourself a helm, which I would, then you might as well get 20% off and I'll leave, a, I'll leave a link to their website below. This is just my first opinion. I'm just having a look at it. I've not kipped in it yet, but I know, I know tents it's, there's, and I know that is a good tent and I would like to kip in it. Tempted to have a look at the compact, the Helm Compact 1 and 2 now. Wonderful tents, wonderful tents. Right, that was just a quick one. I'll be back soon with some more reviews or hiking trips or whatever it is. Uh, but for now, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye! <laughs> Gotta come back out now, here I go. <laughs> see ya. <sighs>